Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Canon drivers for just about any Canon printer you have on your computer. So this is going to be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So it's a pretty simple premise here. If you just install the printer and perhaps you don't have any recoverable media like a DVD or CD-ROM, or perhaps even a flash drive that came with your printer to allow you to set up your printer and connect it to your computer, or perhaps the installation of that media failed, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up a web browser here. It doesn't matter which one, I'm going to just open up Google Chrome for the purpose of this video and navigate over to google.com. And now once I'm on Google, I'm going to type in Canon Printer Drivers and I'm going to search that up and one of the best links should say official Canon service and support and then in comma Canon drivers Canon tech whatnot you want to make sure you're getting this directly from Canon's own website now depending on where you are in the world you might get different links to suggested sites here and I would highly recommend you go directly through Canon you can get about any printer software drivers you need through them if you have a Canon printer so we're going to select that and now if you're not automatically directed to the drivers and downloads area which should be the first area you go to when you click on the link you want to click on this drivers and downloads area so let's say you're on the manuals area you want to click on drivers and downloads and then it's going to say enter a model down here it should say very clearly on your printer it's somewhere if you still have your sticker connected to your printer like you didn't remove the initial sticker it should definitely say it on there so you just want to start typing in whatever it says so you could type in MG, for example, that's a somewhat popular printer line that they have. So you could type in MG, and basically any part of the printer name that matches the characters you're listing here should show up, and you want to make sure you're getting the exact same one that your printer is. Even though some might be able to overlap, it's highly recommended you get the direct driver for your specific make and model. And then once you have that in here, you want to click on the Go button. And now you want to go up and make sure that the printer matches your printer in this illustration up here. And you also want to scroll down and you can see there's some driver software down here. I think it would just redirect you down to this page if you clicked on drivers and downloads, which it does. And you can see it up here it says operating system. If you want to select a different version of the Windows OS, more than welcome to. So if you're downloading the driver for a different computer, you can select an earlier version of Windows or even Macintosh devices if you chose to do so. And then once you're done doing that, all you have to do at this point is just click on the select button right here. And then click on the download button. And it's a fairly large download and most of them typically are. It's about 50 megabytes. So you just want to be patient. once it's finished downloading you want to click on the executable to run it and you do want to make sure it's a verified publisher and it says Canon Inc here I would highly recommend you check that don't just click on yes you want to make sure you're getting it directly from Canon and then click on yes so depending on what driver software you're downloading it might look a little bit different than this so I'm just going to put that out there so it's going to say starting the software installation, follow the on-screen instructions, select next. And again, this is going to look different depending on what printer you select. So don't be surprised if your appearance is a little bit different than mine. And at this point, it's a pretty straightforward walkthrough, but we're going to go a little bit further with this tutorial. So we're just going to hold on for a bit. So you might get a listing here asking what kind of software you want to install. I would recommend keeping them all checked unless you have a space issue on your computer. It only comes out to be about 
one and a half, one and three quarter gigabytes here. So if you wanted to free up some space, you could always remove my image garden if you didn't want to use pictures or create and modify images through there. And if you just wanted to be really critical, you can just keep the MP drivers checked. So for the purpose of this video, just to speed up the video a bit, I'm just going to install the drivers and the user manual. The manual is only about 10 megabytes, so it's not very big. So I'm going to select next here. After you look through the end user license agreement, you want to select yes. And then select next one more time. And then it will begin downloading and installing the software at this moment. And now you want to follow along with the ideal connection. So if this is going to be using a USB connection appears as printer, you want to make sure you plug it in. If it has wireless capabilities, you might be prompted if you want to explore that option as well. You want to just follow along with whatever is most applicable to you guys. So pretty straightforward. So at this point it's just telling us to turn on the computer and it's even pointing to us where on the printer we should turn it on. So it really can't be any more straightforward than that. So I'm just going to close out of here. So don't do what I just did right there guys. So the reason I did that is I don't actually want to install the software on my computer. But if I did, you would just continue to follow along with the on-screen instructions. And it should be pretty straightforward from there. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.